Courtney welcome back to my channel and I hope you are doing so very well it has been a little while since you've seen me on this channel and and that's purely because I have put a lot of my efforts and creative endeavors into patreon they are helping me pay my bills they're helping me support my family uh, so a lot of my time goes into making two videos a week for patreon for the top level girls but I have promised a six month check-in flip of my beast of a journal. Um, if you haven't watched my A5 journal video, which I think I put up at the start of the year, I did switch from a regular size journal, um, my Giramondo that you've seen me work in all the time. And I wanted to dabble in the A5 size. Um, so for Christmas, my hubby bought me a Sojourner. This is the A5 Tola Traveler with the natural pocket and the red elastic. And the book that I am using for my journal, because I get asked this a lot, even though I have said it in many videos and I've put it links in the description box. The journal that I'm actually using is a seven C's crossfield but they do not make this style of crossfield anymore on nanami paper they have updated the design and i think it is just a grid now whereas mine has uh little blue crosses on the uh thing so it looks like dot grid but it's actually tiny, tiny blue crosses. They no longer make this style. Um, I'm not sure why a lot of people didn't like the new updated version, but that is the one that I use. But Nanami Paper do this A5 in different types of blank, aligned, and the cross field, which now looks like grid. So I actually picked up a blank one to use for illustration purposes um, because I really enjoyed doing some of the illustrations in this book. But when it came to scanning things, I had a lot of trouble editing out those tiny little blue crosses where I didn't want them. Um, so I did order a blank one, which I have in an A5 leather cover. But we are here about this journal. This is quite a chunky book. Um, very it's not for the faint-hearted and I've said this a lot to the patreon girls it has been a huge learning curve going from a, uh, a 003 Midori insert into a very thin Tomo River paper insert trying to learn uh, all about paper the paper how it works what I can and can't use on it thinking about my tip-in choices. I did a huge video on um, like a great journal off on Patreon where I talked all about this journal and how page integrity and tip-ins and this and that and the next thing. And it, it has been a learning curve. I'm not gonna say at first, when I got into this journal, I was totally in love. I kind of went, what have I done? Um, but I am slowly becoming BFFs. I don't know whether I would pick this book next time. I am seriously considering a Midori MD. Uh, if I ever finish this book, I feel like I'm going to be journaling in this book until I'm old and gray and I've got 100 cats, but... I hope to be able to finish this book uh, in a relatively okay time. I am doing morning pages in here, which is helping with the page count and also helping not, my spine is not coping so well with all the tip-ins and stuff. So doing morning pages is just, you'll see as we get along. So uh, let's get into it. So I started this in 2017 at the start. And a lot of this stuff that you'll see are collage sheet elements for Patreon in here. Either they get created in here or they get used in here. There will be collage sheet elements coming to Etsy, but I just need to get them up and on there. Uh, some of them will be a mixture of things that I have created in the past for Patreon, but they will never be identical to things that I have done on Patreon. If you want collage sheets... They are a huge part of what I do on Patreon, so go and check out that link. That's all I can say. There are a lot of Patreon collage sheets in here because I do a lot of my creating in here. So, I started, uh, um, I tried to do monthly sort of pages. I don't know whether I've done all the months, but I did start with January here. And I've been slowly using all different types of media. Um, this is uh, acrylic paint, so the paint works just fine. I have watercolor, I have photographs, I have lots of different things. Uh, these were actually mermaid markers and I was testing them for a video. 
I've got photographs and tip-ins on uh, Project Life cards, all that sort of thing. Um, I have used a lot of paint pens. This is a Liquitex paint uh, paint pen, uh, but I'm not a big fan of that anymore because the Liquitex ones have a shiny surface uh, And it is really really hard to write over Whereas the Posca paint markers are very very matte and you can draw over them with any sort of pen um, So I've kind of been moving away from the Liquitex ones even though I have quite a, a substantial Supply of them. I am trying to up my Posca pens because I enjoy paint markers Lots and lots of watercolor, lots of illustrations in this. I did find that the A5 size was really, really great if you wanted to um, add more drawings and artwork and doodling into your into your world, into your life. Um, so I have really enjoyed the real estate that I get. So lots of tip-ins. These are what this is a watercolor paper tip-in, and as you can see, it holds up okay, but it's not. It's not fabulous, so that's just something you need to think of. You need to work your tip-ins, work with them, not against them. Um, overlays, transfers, all that sort of thing. I did put a hole in there, but that's all right. Playing with the Jane Davenport supplies. As you guys know, I'm part of the Davenport party, so I'm always trying to figure out new ways in order to show you guys the supplies. Working with jelly printing, um, I rediscovered my jelly plate and kind of went on a bender. So there's lots of uh, thin, uh, like the calligraphy paper you can get from Daiso. I played a lot with those as tip-ins because they're very thin and they are just visual interest, basically. I use a lot of watercolors for my backgrounds. I'm always incorporating photographs into my journals. That is just how I've always been in my art journal. Everywhere there's always photographs. I did a lot of acetate, my collage sheets on acetate. Postcards that I get, this is one from Rowena when she was in Hawaii. And this is when I was developing the Capture Your Day video, which you guys have seen on here and on Jane's blog. Some pages are not complete, and that is because I don't mind jumping back and forward between my pages. I'm not all about doing things in chronological order. I got over that, especially in this journal, because uh, there are days when I don't want to finish a spread, like, like this sort of thing, and I'll be happy to leave it and then come back when I'm just sitting on the couch and wanting to fill in some doodling, do some writing. And this was all about me having surgery, which I did in February. Um, a lot of that is not public knowledge, but I did have surgery in February. And also my grandfather passed away kind of in conjunction with all of that. So it was a very rough time emotionally and mentally. Um, so this is February. And these are those uh, markers again. And you can see I did not drawer on top of it this time. I just didn't want to wreck any more nibs. These lines here are actually done uh, previously and then I've just colored around it with the paint markers. So I have lots of little um, tip-ins. There's my hospital bracelet. This is actually a uh, fountain pen ink. There's a fountain pen ink that I adore and it is the Platinum Mix Free Cyclamen Pink. I use this more with a paintbrush than I do. It is actually in a fountain pen of mine, but I paint with it and color with it more than I use it in a fountain pen. And it is all throughout my journal, all throughout my journal. So I did a whole uh, video on windows for Patreon um, using collage sheet elements that I have created and creating windows. Uh, lots of uh, illustrations and things. You can tell that I was really lazy with my glue. My stuff doesn't stay and I'm okay with that. Or I've just got really dodgy glue. Well, it could be either either. Uh, I have bright pink monkey fists in my journal. These are made by Babette, not just knots. I will leave links to that down below if you're interested. This color is called Inky Pink. I basically begged her for a hot pink monkey fist. So she obliged. 
So I like to test uh, new supplies. I'm kind of, my journal is a free-for-all. I don't mind scribbling in it. I don't mind testing things in it. I don't, I don't care that my journal is not perfect. Not everything is laid out beautifully. I just like getting things down in here. And you'll see like there are pages back here that have like scribbles and things. When I'm testing markers, that will all get uh, incorporated into my pages. There are quite a few pages in here that are test pages. Like this one here with the girl was actually a swatch page, a full blown swap swatch page. And it was when the Jane Davenport stuff was first released and I was doing a show and tell to the Patreon girls. And then a following video, I morphed the swatch page into a complete journal page. So I don't have any fear with my journaling. I think if we're trying to go for perfect, we'll only disappoint ourselves or we'll be, you know, not happy with our journal. All the stuff that we put in our journal is our life, regardless of if it's swatches, regardless of if it's, you know, a note or a list or a ripped page. I mean, I think there's pages in here that I've ripped when people's asked me for a piece of paper and like, I don't mind. This is my, my, my everything. My everything goes in here. Art, journaling, you know, photographs, my thoughts, postcards. You name it. This was uh, my birthday post, my birthday page. I haven't even finished writing about my birthday. So, and my birthday was in April. So, like I said, I do uh, not worry too much about making everything chronological. I try and keep it a little bit, like I have them grouped in months. Um, and so this I turned into a uh, pocket. So this is a photograph and I've got like scrap monsters that have been sent to me. I got a lot of happy mail when I was going into hospital. Um, I was very blessed with, this is such a cute card, very blessed with lots of uh, love. And uh, when Rowena sends you an order, you get a like her little calling card. So I love using those as tip-ins um, and card tags and things. So when I've got a whole heap of, of stuff that I want to group together, I'll usually make a pocket and just pop them in there because it's an easy way to get a whole heap of things on one page. And I wasn't too keen on this guy, so I don't mind that he's covered up. It doesn't worry me in the slightest. This is a uh, upcoming Davin Party lesson, so we'll move along from that. I started doing uh, a gratitude log, um, which I need to continue in the further pages. This is the first time that I've ever done it and just divided my page up into a weekly spread and wrote a little bit about what I was grateful for. I've actually never done that, which is really not a great thing to admit, but I'd never done that sort of thing. I'd seen people do it in their bullet journal and have gratitude lists and all that sort of thing. But I never, it never occurred to me to do it in my own journal. So I did it one, uh, when did I do this? In April. And so I haven't done it since, but I did really enjoy it. It was also a help to have little snapshots of the good things that had happened in that day. Sometimes I use my journal as a sounding board. So if I'm stressed or I'm anxious or I'm worrying, which is a lot of the time because worrying seems to run through my veins, you know, like crazy, this is a great way to sort of focus on just good stuff. So if you're, if you're worrying, you can flip back to something like this and go, well, you know, this and this and this and this happened and, and you know, that's something I should focus on, not all the worry, which is easier said than done. Believe me, I know it more than anyone else. But I think I want to incorporate this again. Uh, the lettering was done by my good friend Sian. I can't letter to save myself. It is a skill that I, one, don't practice. So I can't really say, oh, I can't do it. I've not practiced enough. I'm not, haven't set aside dedicated time to it. So I can't say, oh, I'm just crappy at lettering. No, I just haven't practiced. Uh, but I, it's a skill. <laughs> Being left-handed, I know there's some amazing left-handed letterers out there. I find it really, really hard uh, to letter. I have tried a lot, but I haven't continuously tried. So it's a skill that I am going to get down pat sometime or other, but, but until then, I have a good friend that helps me letter, uh, that letters for me, and you'll see her lettering um, throughout this journal. So here are just photographs tipped in. Uh, for Easter, uh, playing around with shaped tip-ins. I really loved how this looks and I want to do it again. 
um, <laughs> celebrating my kids. Now this is when we were talking about the capture stuff and capture your day. I really, really loved that. I still really love it. This was my Honey Slim Pickens video. And like I said, I have pages that I've just, I still don't know what to do with this page. I constantly look at it. I kind of regret putting him on there, but it's because he kept getting, uh, he kept falling on the ground. Every time I found him, he was on the floor. Kind of like the floating head that I have on Instagram stories that randomly follows me around my house. So I didn't want him, he's an original, I didn't want him to get ruined. His ear was already starting to get torn, so I just slapped him in my journal just to keep him safe. And now I don't know what to do with him. So I need to work out something for him because he's just, he's at the moment, he literally is just a floating head. Um, and it irks me. This page for some reason really gets to me because it's literally no color, no nothing, just a head. So I need to work out what to do. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. So I, my hubby and I, and our little teacup humans are actually going to New York at the end of this year for our very first family holiday. Now we've been together as a family of four for almost seven and a half years and we have not had a family holiday ever. And I don't count trips to my mum and dad's house, which is seven hours away, a holiday. Because in Burrell, although beautiful, it's not holiday destination. So we have been saving hard to take them to New York. I went there for my honeymoon. I desperately want to go back. And so we decided that we would take them to New York for our one and only international family trip. And we are actually also going to California to visit uh, Rowena and also to go to Disneyland and Universal Studios. But that was a very last minute change of plans. So this is kind of the pages that I set up to write things we wanted to do. I just haven't gotten around to filling it out. I actually need to go through my old journal where there is another list from when I did my honeymoon and sort of grab things that we didn't get to do last time because um, we weren't there for very long. Also, funds were short last time, so we didn't get to do a lot of the things we wanted to do. But this, this time around, I have been saving like crazy for us to do a trip of yes for the kids. And that means I want to be able to say yes within reason. You know, I don't want Elijah to say, can I have a car? And I'll go, yes. But just to be able to take them, say, into a toy store or into somewhere and if they say to me mom can I get this I want to be able to say yes and know that it's not going to affect our uh, holiday budget um, and my kids only ever really get toys at their birthday at Christmas and they earn some allowance and that's it so I am going to have more fun on this holiday making my kids happy than anything else and it is going to be something that I'm going to remember for a very very long time um, because we've never done anything like this and they don't know what's coming we've all kept this uh, under wraps I don't even know we're actually going to Disneyland because we had said no we can't afford it we can't do it um, but when Rowena offered up accommodation it made it possible so my kids don't even know they're going to Disneyland yet and I'm keeping that little tidbit a secret until the very day that we go so that's the sort of stuff I'm really excited about just seeing the joy on my kids faces so if you have any suggestions of things we need to do in New York pop them in the comments below I'm always up for new experiences and because it will be one thing totally excited so we've got some loose drawings and a nook dweller this page doesn't have writing on it yet still debating whether I'm going to actually just completely whitewash this page and redo it not in love with it um, but you know I have an aversion to doing photographs of where I stand and that is purely because I don't like being in photographs at all being very self-conscious and not very happy with how my body looks I'm always behind the camera I'm never in front of the camera and you'll probably know you've barely seen me in front of the camera in the on my channel it is very rare that you see me and that will continue regardless of my size I think but one thing I always do is I always take photographs of where I stand um, and it's a reminder of where I go, where I am, 
Um, a lot of the time it's normally just picking up my kids, but it's just a reminder. So this page isn't done yet. I need to fi figure out how I'm going to pull it all together. I've got the, the words where I stand, but I want to journal in here somewhere. So I've just left it as is until I know exactly what I want to do. But I have hundreds of photos of my feet. I don't have a foot fetish. I do love shoes, but I just like knowing where I've been without being, without having my face in the photo. So I do it this way. Right. So here's that Cyclamen pink again. It is really punchy in the face pink, which is the only pink I love. Um, and I've got lots of uh, photos, a couple of collage elements. I love line work, so I've been incorporating a little line work into my days. Um, this is actually the thumbnail from the Honey Slim Pickens, and I kind of love the picture of Hubby and I. Um, I picked up a Kunkin backpack uh, in the pink. My little man, aged 10, aged 8 for Boo, and this was around Mother's Day because I took these photos for Mother's Day um, for the my mum and John's mum. So this is kind of like a tri-fold tip-in. Um, that sort of thing so it does fold out these are project life cards I do like using them they're a little bit warpy if you add watercolor to them but I'm okay with that it's not a problem I love using washi tape to give that stitched weird effect I like all those sorts of things these are collage sheet elements every month I give them numbers 1 to 31 um, in different ways shapes or forms this is also one of them so they're things that you can put up in the corners of your journal a uh, hundred things to draw. I put this list in here to remind me that I want to do more practice drawing. I find that I am doing a lot of work for Patreon that is, you know, st also stuff I want to do, but I do a lot of uh, video requests. So I do a lot of things that everyone wants to see. And I find that I'm not getting enough practice doing things that I'm not familiar with. And I, I mean... Drawing faces and drawing creatures are my jam. I do it all the time. I'm very good at it. But there are things that I am not, there are a plethora of things that I'm not good at. And I feel that um, I don't have enough time or I don't make enough time to draw things that I'm not good at so that my skill set can get better. And so I am going to start um, embarking on a daily drawing habit. I would really like to draw every day for an hour, whether it be something I love, or something I'm used to, or something that will challenge me. And so I put this in my journal to sort of give me ideas if I got stuck. I actually have not drawn a single thing off here, but I really, really, really need to do it. Maybe I'll start a video series where I draw each thing off this list. And if it's bad, it's bad. I don't know. We'll see. This is actually that Cyclamen Pink in a fountain pen. It's very, very bright. I love it. Um, this is a half finished page. I have uh, elements from Tisha Moore here. I have photographs mixed in with my hand drawings. I do really love um, shadow trees, like the when the sun's about to go down, it makes all the trees. Uh, look like shadow puppets and I'm obsessed. I take them photographs of them all the time I have my camera roll my phone is partially my journal my cat and shadow trees and pictures of my feet So there's my best friend from high school Mandy it was actually I took this photo out of one of my old journals because I was looking through it hubby uh, these are, was a Davin party, uh, Embrace Your Odd. You guys have seen it. If you haven't, it's on my channel. And this was a version that Sian did and I asked her for a copy because I loved it. Um, so there's bits of Tisha Moore, bits of my collage sheet elements all morphed into one. And so I glued them together. Not together, but I put them on the same page. Uh, this page isn't completely done, but I'm kind of I kind of like it how it is, and just trying to work out. Uh, this is when I started using um, the HP Sprocket. I actually purchased this to take to New York because it is fully uh, portable. It fits into my Delphonics pouch um, over here, so it fits into this pocket right here. I've actually got spare film in there. 
and it is really, really handy and portable. Um, so a lot of people ask me, do I prefer it to the selfie? And I do have the selfie, but I found that my selfie was starting to, um, the colors of my photographs were starting to get really pale and not very, I tried editing them and upping their vibrancy. And even when I printed them, they still weren't, I wasn't happy with how it was going. I do have quite an old selfie, but I'll still use it because I still have ink and paper. But this has become my go-to, especially for on the go. Um, so I'm going to be buying a stack of paper uh, to take with me to New York so that I can just print on the go and I can journal on the go if I feel the need to. Last time I went to New York, I journaled when I got home and I kind of want to experience journaling while it's happening. Um, I've never had that experience before, but I really want to try and make that happen. Um, so this was a step in that direction and I'm really loving the sprocket. Um, the picture quality is great for me. The app is so user friendly and I really like the filters that they give you in the app. I've really enjoyed them. Um, so you'll see a few pictures around here. This was an idea for a Davin party video and I haven't actually gotten anywhere with these pages. These are sprocket pictures. I have a purple haze filter that I put over some of my photos because I like that pink tint that it gives. Um, again, not finished. These are matte uh, craft paints. I really love craft paint on here. Uh, this was a funky florals video, also a Davin Party project, also on my YouTube channel. So if you want to see that, how that's created, you can check that out. And I created a um, challenge, a group challenge in my Patreon called Choose Your Own Adventure Journaling. And every month uh, we do a group challenge and this was the first month. And so this, I always create my take on the challenge so they can see how I would do the challenge. Um, and it has been a huge hit in the community and a great way for us to uh, get out of our comfort zones. And these pages haven't been written on yet, but I slowly add bits and pieces to them. I was just testing watercolors and just playing with paint markers and overlays and things. Uh, this video made it to YouTube because the Inkies requested it be um, shown with the world. It was my show up video. It has done extremely, extremely well. It has hit home with so many of you and I want to thank everyone that sent me messages about it, who's DM'd me, who's commented on that video. Um, it was a very close to my heart video about showing up and doing the hard things even when you don't feel like it. And there are so many days when we don't feel like it. I've made it no a secret that I struggle with depression and have for many, many years. My son will be 11 in December and I was diagnosed with uh, postnatal depression when he was three months old and then that just developed into full-blown depression so I've had it a big chunk of my life and I try and battle it without medication and I use art and journaling as a way to cope with that and on the day that I actually made this video was one of my days that I was truly truly tired exhausted depressed didn't want to draw None of it, but I showed up and I did the video and it hit home with a lot of people. And it's actually one of my very favorites, even though I was in a very rough place when I made it. Um, so this is the illustration. If you want to check it out, it is on my channel. It's called Show Up. Um, so if you are new to my channel, this is one that I would like you to watch. So there is my illustration. These are also sprocket pictures that I've just cut down. Um, in my, uh, in One Book July, there was Go Big or Go Home. And now I didn't make any videos on One Book July. I literally, July passed before my eyes, before I even knew what was happening. And one of the things that I wanted to do for Go Big or Go Home was I wanted to document my supplies each month and lay them out so that I knew what I was using. Now, in our community, we get really caught up with the magpie syndrome where we want everything and anything that everyone has. We're in love with so many things. I am no, blah, 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 blah. I am a huge contender for this. I love pouches, I love leather things, I love art supplies, and so I'm in a group. My inkies and I enable each other like crazy. And so um, it has been so interesting to see what supplies I use each month when I have a 
plethora of supplies that I have at my fingertips. So I have decided that for a whole year, each month I would document supplies that I used, color palettes that I used, pouches and carriers that I used, and just see how it changed, how it shifts, if something's influencing me that month. Um, so in the month of June, I had matte acrylic paint and I was influenced by Bai Bun. I have got, I took her spirits class and I was totally, I am still totally, my, my camera decided to stop recording. So what I was saying, I'm still very much in love with this paint. I love it, but it featured heavily in the month of June because I was using it in my journals and my art journals and watching um, Roxanne Cobble Bai Bun use it. So it was in June. It didn't make it to July. I didn't touch it in July. So I have actually been using a um, Moleskin Kaye with a Sojourner Folio on it and have two uh, Moleskin notebooks in the covers, inside covers, and I have been slowly making notes on what I've used, what I haven't used, color palettes that I have in my travel palette, pouches that I've carried, and I have turned this into a series on Patreon, but I want to do uh, the same sort of thing here on YouTube because I think it'll be interesting for you guys to see how it all unfolds. And I think it's really interesting, like looking at it from a documentation uh, perspective, it has been truly interesting to see how outside influences influence what we buy, what we use, what color palettes. So I did pop them in here, but I have started its own little project and that was my go big or go home thing, but I never actually got to make a video for one book in July. So if you would like more information or a video on this specifically, pop it down below and I will make a video for YouTube. And I'll also put in some of the footage that I used in my video for Patreon, just to help give it a bit more premise. So these were the capture your day stuff. I'm slowly, I'm not doing a whole week. I'm just adding things as I feel. So this one is in June, this one's in July. Apparently I had something here, but never made it. So I just add photographs as I feel, see fit. This is also a great way to add photographs, not just writing all your days. Um, this is one of the uh, oddballs that I made for Jane's video that I've just used as a tip in. But I may take her off because it's just not coping. Unless I put something here to hold this page, um, say a photograph or something, it is going to not cope. And this is what I touched on in the great journal off with page integrity when using really thin Tomo River paper. Uh, this is an acetate window. It was part of the challenge for Choose Your Own Adventure last month. And so this was a uh, technique I did for the Inkies to show them something cool. And some um, of my shadow trees as a big uh, tip in, like a huge photograph tip in. Again, a page I haven't finished yet, but it'll get worked on. This is the other page that I did for the Davin Party video and I've slowly been adding photographs and things to these pages as I see fit. Uh, I went to the city with Sam and Sian on a artist date and I journaled about it all. Again, more shadow trees, uh, just using some of the packaging that I got from Muji and things adding lots of tip-ins, lots of texture. These stickers came in the stationary selection box last month, I think, and I am in love with them. I've actually almost used them all up. I think they're, they may be, yeah. So I've only got a couple left, and I have never actually used the whole sticker sheet up, but for some reason, these just make me super happy, and I've loved using them in my journals just randomly. It's a uh, picture of us uh, from the still of Miss Potter. Um, I am obsessed with Miss Potter. The movie is one of my favorites. I watch it every time my husband leaves to go overseas. It's kind of like a comfort blanket for me, so I watch it all the time. So I've just popped it her on there. I've made um, tabs that I've used on clear sticker paper. Um, these are actually a printable for my patrons, but I'm actually going to make some tabs, monthly tabs for Etsy as well. Um, so there's those things, little tip-ins, more shadow trees, art friends make the best friends. 
more of those stickers, hand drawn leaves, lots of watercolor play. So this is actually one of my favorite spreads in here. It just all sort of works and I like all the different layers, the different sizes, tabs. Um, there's acrylic paint on here. I just, I love the way that this came out. Sorry, next door is doing art construction. And if I didn't do it this video now, I don't know when I would do it. At least they're not drilling. Yesterday it was drill, drill, drill. So here is my Inverell trip. We went to visit my family to go pick up my teacup humans. They stayed with mum and dad for uh, two weeks during the holidays. So hubby and I got a little bit of a break. And so I actually turned one of my big photographs into a pocket. This was also a swatch page where I was testing uh, colors and then I turned it into an illustration holding my pink backpack. And I just did the same thing that I did before where I was turning um, some of my photographs into tags and tip-ins. Um, I got a little card from Miss Vicky B who sent me a Bob Ross t-shirt which I had been looking for forever. Um, my girlfriend Anae bought me one but she bought me a size medium and I could get it on but it was a little snug. I'll actually eventually fit into it but I wanted to wear one now. So Vicky found me a size large. It's a men's t-shirt. I'm obsessed. I've worn it heaps. So hubby's now got the medium. I've got the large. We don't wear them together, but I have said to hubby, one day we should go out wearing them together. Um, so this is the little card that she sent with the uh, t-shirt, so I've popped it in there. I did grab some postcards from Inverell and I've just turned them into tip-ins. And I've used some of my Instagram stories photos. So we arrive at mum and dad's at 2.30 in the morning. So there's that. I also picked up this postcard, which is the courthouse and it's a cool pink building. So I grabbed that postcard and I have a multi-dimensional tip-in. So my kids, this is when they were playing at my sister's house. This is actually this photo here. But I like how that worked. I'll probably do that again uh, using some of uh, Jane's rub-ons, which I, I really, really highly recommend. I know they're currently, I think they may be getting discontinued. So if you are have been umming and ahhing over her rub-ons, go and get some and hoard them for life because they're some of my very favorite and the quality is amazing. Um, so they're there. And then I have just photos of my kids. And again, another uh, tip in on the side. Um, Hubby and I went to breakfast while well, I had tea. He had breakfast and just a little bit of journaling. So they're in there um, as a way to sort of document that trip. Get in there. So I, I love how that looks and using creatures to represent myself. Um, I will be doing a lot more of that in the future um, and that sort of thing. So this is a test print of the calendar image from last month, June, July, the July calendar image. Um, so I've just, I have so many test prints. It is obscene the amount of spare prints I have lying around. So I try and incorporate as many as I can into my journal. I'm playing with uh, paints when I was hanging out at a craft night with Sam and Sian. So we were testing each other's paints and things. So this will get turned into a page a collage sheet element. Um, a sprocket printout. This was actually the header image that I did on the blog post for Patreon. So I just printed it out because I liked the way it looked. Uh, this was me testing the uh, this technique. It was me testing out how I was going to teach it. And so this was a uh, tester, I guess. So I didn't want to waste it. Um, and these haven't actually been done yet. They're still in limbo. And I'm okay with limbo pages. Um, playing around with collage sheet elements. This was when I did a comparison video on the Zig to the Tombos. Um, so I was showing them how they differ and change and all that sort of thing. So I haven't actually done anything with these pages yet. This was this month's Choose Your Own Adventure journaling. So I did an illustration on both sides and I also used um, some Project Life sheet pages, cut them down and added some tip-ins like that. Using tissue paper, putting it through my printer and adhering it to a page. And then we come to my morning pages. So this is currently 
uh, my morning pages. I started on the 18th of July and I have been doing morning pages every day since then. And I have only missed, I think, two days and only got to not finish one day. So as you can see, this is my way to get some of my pages uh, done and finished without uh, using heaps of tip-ins and stuff. So I'm trying to help my spine by doing my morning pages in here. I use all different supplies, um, all different watercolors. This is the one day that I didn't get finished, but I'll probably go back when I have something um, extra to say when I've done. I am only doing two double A, two A5 pages per day, um, and I hope to get to three, but for now two is where I'm at. And so these are where I've been doing them as a way to get some of my pages finished. Um, and this is where I am at the moment. And then I started playing, I like my morning pages to be all together, not all together, but like a week consecutively. So this is obviously a few weeks and then this is Sunday. So I knew that I could journal on here and then I would start say another week's worth of pages here. So I'd count seven days worth of pages and then I can continue journaling in this sort of way, um, if you understand what I mean. So I have a page here that I've started working on but I kind of haven't finished it. It's just in you know the makings and some illustration that I haven't actually colored in yet. Um, and that is it. I do have random swatch pages around here that uh, just everywhere really and then I at the back I have pen test pages when I'm trying to get my pens to work or I'm testing to see if it bleeds that sort of thing different nibs and stuff these are the Posca paint markers and you can see that you can draw straight over them with no problems um, but yeah I still have quite a ways to go <laughs> Uh, I, like I said, it will take me forever in a day, but that is my A5 journal. And I have a, a couple of dashboards at the back that I've made that hold all random odds and ends. And I have a pocket at the front that has uh, collage sheet elements that I'm to use, photographs, that sort of thing. So I hope you've enjoyed this flip. It is a long chatty one. I know you guys deserved a long chatty one. So I hope you had your journal and you had it out while I was chatting or a cup of tea or a coffee. Um, but I hope that's helped. If you have any questions, if you'd like to see more on a topic, if there's something in here that you'd like me to do a journal with me about, please tell me. I'm happy to do what you uh, want to see. I know that you guys have been really, really patient with the uh, Altered Art Journal series, but even with my journal with me, some of the techniques that I show you within those videos can be straightly applied to that book. It is just a it is just like this. Like anything that I can do in here, you can do in your altered art book. There is no difference. It is just the vessel in which you do your art in. But if there's anything in here that you've seen that you go, I'd really like to know how to do that, please do ask. I will get onto it for you as much as possible. Um, if you want to see a lot of more content from me, then you do think about checking out my Patreon. Um, I do do two videos a week for the top level uh, inkies and there is currently over a year's worth of video content there at the moment. I will be deleting six months worth of content off my Patreon. Uh, but if you are a current member, you will get a PDF file with every single link. Um, there is. So there is over, it's just a lot. There's a lot of video content, pages and pages and pages worth. Hours and hours and hours worth. So that is it, my loves. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you've enjoyed this very chatty flip. Um, I was gonna film it without chatting um, and do a chatty and a non-chatty, but I just I just can't be bothered. So I'm sorry if you don't like chatty flips, but this is this is me. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm going to stop talking now because my throat's sore and I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you very soon.